Hi everyone, welcome to this week's installment of Sona's Clover Station series. Today I'm going to show you all about inventory management on the Clover Station. So to access the inventory management portion of the Clover Station, we'll first want to log in to our Clover Station. And then there should be an app called the Inventory. If it's not on your first page, it may be on the second page. So just look for this inventory app. And so we'll click into that. If you already have items in there, um, this will be your list of individual items. Um, if not, we can add item and I'll show you how to do that in a second. Um, next thing we'll have is a list of categories. So we can also add categories in here as well. Um, modifiers for food or um, items that have different variations of them. And labels is where we would get the orders to print for that individual item. So I'll show you how you can add an item. There's also add item with variants, but we're just gonna do a, a simple item. So first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is add the name. Um, so we'll just name this test, and then we can add an online name. Now what this means is for every Clover station, you get access to Clover online ordering. So the online name is what would show up on your online portion of uh, the Clover online ordering. So we're just gonna name this test as well, and we can even add a description uh, if you'd like there for customers to see on online ordering. Um, and then for show and register, that just means if it's gonna show up on the Clover station, so when you're bringing in a customer, we're gonna want that checked if you're adding the item. Um, and then show online is if you'd like it to show on your Clover online ordering. Next, there's some different pricings that we have. Uh, so fixed price per unit price or variable, we're just gonna leave this at fixed price. Um, so then we'll set our price, we'll just call this $10. Item cost, so in Clover, you can track how much margin you're making. So you can, if you know the cost of an item, um, what it costs you, you can enter that in here. So we'll say this costs us $5. And then we can add our stock quantity. So this is our what we're starting with and you can update this as you go along. But every time this item gets sold, it will automatically deduct one or however many amount you sold in one time um, from the stock quantity. We can add a product code or a SKU. Um, and these can be done by the barcode scanner as well. Um, if there's, uh, you know, product code could be barcode and SKU could be an internal way that you keep track of your products. Next would be assign it to a category. So we already have categories set up, um, but if you wanted to make a new category, you'd have to do that first and then we would assign it here. So we'll just assign it to fruits. And then same thing goes with labels and modifiers as well. And we'll dive into that in a, in a later installment of the Clover Station series, but for now, we'll just leave those unassigned and we can do taxes and fees as well. So um, we could just assign it to our default taxes or we could do custom um, or even assign it to no taxes if it's a no tax item. And then finally, we can do a item color. If it's a, a retail item like a shirt, um, we can put in uh, what color that is and that'll help in the reporting as well. Thank you for watching this week's installment of Sona's Clover Station series. Stay tuned for next week. And as always, if you have any questions, feel free to email info at sonapay.ca.